we're talking about mental health and study abroad with the DU Health and Counseling Center, or HCC. Mental health is an umbrella term that encompasses our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It's important to be mindful of your mental health before, during, and after study abroad. We know that study abroad can be exciting and rewarding, but we also hear from students who feel lonely or overwhelmed when they're abroad. It's normal to encounter new challenges with significant life changes, like going abroad, regardless of whether you have any mental health concerns before that experience. Our goal is to provide support throughout the process and help students be resilient in the face of these challenges. With that in mind, let's talk about steps you can take now to take care of your mental health while abroad. Start by res researching your support options. Look into the reality of living in your chosen host country. If you're going someplace where English isn't widely spoken, are there English speaking therapists? What kind of care is available? What are general attitudes on mental health? What medicines are available and legal? These are important questions to ask. And you can start with the international SOS team. They can provide referrals to counselors. Don't forget to research support from your host program too. Be sure to disclose any mental health needs to your program and reach out after you've been accepted. Know which healthcare facilities are available in the local area and look into on-campus support groups or counseling options. The HCC is also here to support you. There are a lot of resources on our website. All DU students have access to HCC services like counseling while in the US. Most students are covered and you can find billing details on our website. Consider coming in before you leave and create a success plan with a provider. You can also get free confidential support right from your phone through the My SSP Support Student, Student Support Program app. There you can text and voice chat with a My SSP counselor 24 seven from anywhere. Be sure to add international SOS to your list too. They provide 24 seven medical and security assistance to all DU travelers. You can talk to them about any mental health concerns you may have, like finding an English speaking counselor or bringing prescriptions overseas, as well as any other medical or security concerns you have, like traveling with a chronic illness, what happens if you have a medical issue abroad, how students of color or LGBTQIA students may be received and how to stay safe. IOSIS can also organize short-term counseling with a Western trained counselor for you if something comes up. They offer up to five 45-minute sessions per incident at no additional cost and do their best to find a counselor to meet with you in person. If that option is not available, you'll meet via phone or video chat. To set up a session, call ISOS, give them DU's membership number, and let them know why you're seeking counseling. There are also a lot of other mental health related apps for your phone that provoke that promote mindfulness, allow mood tracking, and so on. And don't forget to check out the health and safety section of the study abroad handbook. There you'll find a comprehensive checklist of steps and a link to the student success plan worksheet. Once you've compiled your list of resources, start working on your success plan. The worksheet will walk you through steps to make a personalized plan to help you succeed abroad. Invite your doctor or an HCC counselor to help you think of possible action steps and determine when the MySSP app would be helpful. You might decide to talk or text with a MySSP mental health provider when challenges arise or join a club abroad to find new friends. One way to stay accountable could be sharing your plan with a supportive family member or friend. Next, schedule checkups with relevant healthcare providers before your departure. If you haven't already, this may be a good opportunity to seek professional advice and talk with a counselor, therapist, or other mental health professional. We at the HCC also have counseling services to support students throughout their time at DU, including transitions in their life like study abroad. It's also a good idea to review what you have learned about culture shock in your INTZ course. Remember that it can manifest differently for you and your peers. 
The key thing to know is that it's a normal process that everyone goes through in some way or another when they change environments. Even after returning to the U.S., it's common to experience some degree of each stage of culture shock, even through the, though the timeline is different for all of us. A great way to prepare for culture shock and other challenges is to develop positive coping mechanisms. This could be spending time with your friends or expressing yourself creatively through journaling or drawing. We at the HCC are happy to be thought partners as you figure out what might work for you. And don't forget, you can call International SOS to be connected with a counselor. You can also find a list of positive coping mechanisms in the psychological and emotional wellness section of the study abroad handbook. Remember that it's normal to encounter challenges before, during, and even months after you study abroad. So don't hesitate to reach out to the HCC at any point in the process. The OIE is also here to support you and connect you with helpful resources. As always, please reach out with any questions or concerns. Stay well.